Let somebody shout hallelujah. Is that the best you can do? Make a loud noise of victory. Hallelujah. Come and lift your hands wherever you are. Say something good to him. Go ahead and bless him. Honor him. Adore him. There's none like our God is worthy of all our praises. Come and give it to him. Give it to him. He deserves all of our glory. He deserves all the praises. Lord, we worship you. King of glory, we honor you. We adore you. We exalt you. Lord, we give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor. Come on, bless him. Exalt him. Honor him. Lord, thank you. Thank you. Jesus, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. King of kings, we give you thanks. We bless you. We honor you. We exalt you. We adore you. We give you praise. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. It shall be well with you. It shall be well with you. The Bible says, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, neither has it come to the heart of man. What God has in store for them that love him. Lift up your ears. Say, Father, make tonight my night. Come and go ahead and speak to him. Lord, make tonight my night. Lord, make tonight my night. Jesus, make tonight my night. <clears throat> my heart is open. Lord, make tonight my night. <clears throat> make tonight my night. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Holy Ghost, over to you. You are the Father of life, in whom there is no variableness, no shadow of turning. Lord, we are looking up to you, Lord, tonight. Change our lives. Make us better individuals. Help us, Lord, serve you better. Help us, Lord, to love you more. Teach us what to do to be better lovers. In Jesus' mightiest name, we have given thanks. Speak through my tongue, touch life, and let no flesh glory in your presence. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mightiest name, we have prayed. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless you. Amen. Now, the Lord was speaking to me about opening of doors. And the Lord said to me that there's a height and realm you enter to and God will not just open a door, he open all doors. That's why the Bible gave account concerning the righteous. It says, great and effectual doors are open. It says, tell them to stop praying for miracle jobs. It said, but that they should pray for miracle ends, creating miracle jobs. Miracle ends, creating miracle jobs. If you read the book um, The Gifted Hand by Ben Kansen, you will understand 
that there is something God has put in your hands. And when you can see it, it helps you to stand out in life. There is something you can do with your hands that will feed the world. There, I, I, I don't know now, maybe an organization want to employ Pastor Raymond and say, we'll pay you a millionaire a month. He can't survive with that. He can't su uh, survive with that. But there is something that even my PA now, an organization cannot call him for a millionaire now and say that's what he can't survive with that. In a moment, I'm going to show you your secret that you've been waiting for. Your access to the fullness of God. Your access to what makes God, God. God wants to bring everyone to a realm of possibilities. A realm where you have access to all grace and glory. And I believe tonight we shall answer in your favor. Come and celebrate Jesus as you comfortably take your seat. The emergence of God's lovers. Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verses 9. Know, therefore, everybody, wherever you are, I'd like you to listen tonight. Know, therefore, that the Lord thy God he is God, the faithful God, which keepeth, listen carefully, which keepeth covenant. You can underline covenant. Or in your note, you write it out, covenant. He keeps covenant and mercy. There are two words here, covenant and mercy. Some are crying every day, Lord, have mercy on me. And there are some individuals that mercy resides with. Some are longing for the covenant of life. There are some who are the keeper of the covenant of life. And they give it at will. Some want the covenant of provisions. Or of advancement. Amen. Amen. I know by virtue of grace some of the covenant of God I can easily activate it. There are things in the kingdom I will really not need to pray because the covenant of it is speaking already on my life. He keeps covenant and mercy with them that what? That love him and keep his commandment. He, so he keeps this thing with them for a thousand generations. I saw the father of faith. What they've stumbled on is a strange mystery. It transcends to generations. Even after they are gone, none of their seeds can miss out of this covenant. And God wants you to operate in the same. He wants you to have access. He said, this is the law. I have made provisions that these certain individuals will be in custody of these things. <laughs> I speak tonight. Every access you need, every access you need in redemption to assess the fullness of God, may you step into it now. 
Can I hear it loud? Amen. Amen. So God keeps it. And I started this teaching on Sunday laying emphasis on who are the lovers of God. Who are the lovers of God? And we consider all of that now that you know who are the lovers of God. The dimension, the positioning, the things that you must do. I'm going to be speaking tonight on the subject, loving God. We saw that the lovers of God are God's chasers. They chase God. And we also have an understanding that the lovers of God are the people that God knows. The Bible was speaking to us in 1 Corinthians 8 and verses 3. Hallelujah. He said, but if any man love God, he said the same is what is known of him. If any man love God. If somebody is in love with you, you will know. He doesn't need to tell you, I love you. Amen. You know, it, it's in boyfriend and girlfriend thing that you are longing to wait for him to say, I love you. Amen. And sometimes if he's not saying it, you tell him, tell me you love me. Well, hello. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Now, we see it all around the elder. Perhaps every day, every Sunday, that is in love. Are you following what I'm saying? It, he has nothing, he, he does not have to stand on the altar. I'm in love. We see it all around. Are you, and we can justify with every understanding that, that the Ajibade is in extreme love. Amen. Amen. Know that the Lord thy God. Not their God. The Lord thy God. Not the one we were told. Not their own God. The Lord their our own God. My God. He is God. The faithful God which keeps covenant. The covenant of prosperity are with some. It's in their family lineage. They carry it. It's a family philosophy. Some carry the covenant of fruitfulness. They keep power. They tell you if you go into that house you have plenty of children. Amen. You have plenty. I remember when I was young, when I go to visit my, um, my grandma, she would tell me, oh, please, make sure you marry an Ausa girl. And, you know, they have plenty of children. That's the only reason. So, they carry plenty of children. Why? Because she was a cattle merchant those days. And so, you know, she speaks Ausa fluently and she knows that every one of them, before you close eye and open it, they've given birth to another child. So, so they have plenty of children. So they have the, there's a covenant of miracle babies with them. But we're speaking of what God I'm dead over. Are you following me right now? What God and over to man. So some he has given the covenant of health. There are, I, I've met someone with different challenges. But he has the covenant of victory. At every phase, they're overcoming. At every phase, they're overcoming. At every phase, they're overcoming. Everything that God's covenant stands for. 
I'm speaking over your life tonight. Everything God's covenant represents in health, in wealth, in prosperity, in longevity, I speak in the name of Jesus. It shall be evident on your life. Someone said me tonight, I'm consciously positioned for everything that God's covenant stands for. Say, I'm consciously positioned tonight for everything that God's covenant stands for. You will please up your seat. Who which keeps covenant and mercy? Now, Two things he keeps with them. A mercy. And if we must talk about mercy. The Bible gave us a count that mercy prevails over judgment. He keeps covenant because sometimes when you are the keeper of covenant and as a result of one mistake or errors, you might want to lose the covenant. Are you following me right now? So God attach the covenant with mercy. Are you following me right now? Because he, he recognizes how humane you are. And then he wants you to stay victorious always. By love, you have access to victory. By love, you have access to dominion. That's why they could boldly say in Romans 8, Reading down from 37, it said, What then shall separate us? For in all of these things, we are more than a conqueror. Why? Covenant was there, mercy was there. The devil tells you, You think you can keep God's covenant? No, my covenant will I not break. And neither will I utter that which is gone out of my mouth. And he gives you every reason why you can't be a keeper of it. Not of him that wills, nor of him who knows how to run. No, but of the law that showeth mercy. And mercy has found someone tonight. I speak in the name of Jesus. Your story is changing for the better. I say in the name of Jesus. Your story is changing for the better. In the mighty name of Jesus. Your story is changing for the better. This is your night. You may please have your seat. Loving God. Deuteronomy chapter 6 and verses 5. Deuteronomy chapter 6. And thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all thy might. Why was God giving man this commandment? God does not have problem loving man. The Bible gave us an understanding in Ephesians chapter 2 and verse 4. The Bible says, But God, who is rich in what? In mercy. For his great love where we what? He loved us. Is somebody following me right now? <laughs> Are you seeing what mercy is able to do? For but God, who is not in mercy, but rich in mercy. The God who is rich, so the world is in mercy. The liberty is in mercy. The victory is in mercy. The Lord which is rich in mercy. Because of what? Did you see that part? That is ordered. How did he become rich in mercy? He became rich because 
of his great love. His great love. Where we, he loved us. He loved Moriah so much. He respective of what you are saying. Let me tell you something. God has deaf ears to anything that contradicts love. I have not called the seed of Jacob to seek me in vain. That is, no one that seek the father returns in vain. No one that loves the father returns in vain. I have ordained victory for you all. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. So can you boldly say, Lord, I'm desperate for you tonight. Can you boldly say again, Lord, I'm desperate for you tonight. If you're watching online, say the same. Can you boldly say for the third time, Lord, I'm desperate for you tonight. The trials of men are enormous. But the victory in Christ is very great. The Bible was speaking. It said, many are the afflictions of the righteous. It said, but the law deliver him from it all. From them all. That's Psalm 34 verse 19. The law delivered him. Why? There is a great law wherewith he loved us. Loving God. How do you love him? Number one. Obey. Obeying his commandment and following his instructions. Obey his commandment and following his instruction. First John chapter 5 and verse 3. Wherever you are, I'm showing you the easy access to a victorious living. Easy access to getting anything from God. The Bible gave account of him as the God who daily loads us with benefits. You must be his lover to get daily benefits. I don't know if you have an understanding. You must be his lover to get daily benefits. If you must assess his provision, you must be his lover. First John 5, 3, for this is the love of God. He said, this is how we say that we love God. That we keep his commandments and his commandments are what? Are not grievous. That is, you are not saying to yourself, all oh, these do's and don't is too much. You are not saying, hey, do I have to appear in Zion? You are not a complainant. You are yielding to God. <laughs> Job said, acquaint now thyself with God. In my book, I explain that chapter. And I think that took a, a, a whole chapter in my book the, um, exploring the beauty of redemption. It says, acquaintance also means yield thyself now. Another translation, the NIV says, submit thyself with God and be at peace. It said, thereby peace shall come unto thee. 
There's a dimension of what you can assess. You cannot say that you are loving God if you are not obeying his commandments. Don't obey some and leave some. You must obey all. I'm speaking on loving God, not love God. You can love him today and not love him tomorrow. But when I'm speaking on loving, what will help you to be loving God? Present continuous. What will help you to carry it forever? You must obey. And his commandment changes not. You must keep obeying it. There is nothing like we're in the new age, the new age Christianity. No. It says, I am the same yesterday, today, and forever. I change it not. You want to assess this realm? Love God. Obey his commandment. Thou shalt not kill. Obey it. Thou shalt not steal. Obey it. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Obey it. Thou shalt not fornicate. Obey it. If God will put some dangerous thing in your custody. Uh, uh, this is a dangerous night. If God will commit power in your hands. First Peter chapter 5 and verses 10. I want to show you something. We'll come back to this. The Bible gave us and understand of what we've been called into. First Peter 5 and verse 10. First Peter 5 and verse 10. What we have been called into. He said, but the God of all grace who had called Adela Lotella into what is eternal glory. By what? By Christ Jesus. Olufemi Olawi has been called not by his father's name. But by Christ Jesus, stay on the scripture. And after that, he suffered a why. Ah! He called Aisha out of suffering, which is only meant to last for a while, not permanent. And what did he do? He made her perfect. He established her. He strengthened her. And what did he do? He crowned her with settlement. Nothing changes until you can see the blueprints of what redemption has made available on your life. No, not of works, lest any man should boast. God will not ask you to do what you can't do. Loving God. You want to be, I, I, I saw through all the heroes of faith I've read of, the fathers of faith I'm saying, and I can only trace their exploit to one thing, loving God. Loving God. Obey his commandment and follow his instructions. What did he command? He command repentance. He command sensitivity to know when you are strolling and when you should come back home. Are you following me right now? Don't forget the covenant is sure and is with you. And the mercy is there. Husbands and wives fight. And the time said, I don't think I'm in love with him again. Why? They lost what? Fellowship. But the relationship is still what? It's still there. What's the relationship? They're husband and wife. And even sometimes they go through the process of separation. They're not what? Divorce. But they're still addressed as what? Husband and wife. And after a little while, because of mercy that followed them, what happens? Love will begin to grow again. You need to know what you have access to. And to assess it, 
You must obey it. You must make decision. Do you know we're going to have a glorious church? A wonderful society? If everyone will obey instructions. His commandment and instructions. The instruction of submission. Submit to his kingdom instructions. His principles. The kingdom instruction. Submit to loving people. Submit to celebrate people's victory. Submit your life to the instruction of prayerfulness. Submit yourself to intercessions. I know everybody want to break through. So every day you are coming with the Lord, open my door. Lord, do this. There are some things that open door without the prayers of open doors. There is he that scatter it. Yes. Increase it. There is he that with all that tends to poverty. A little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of hands, so shall poverty come. There are instructions you must obey. The instruction of going out is therefore, thy going out and thy coming in shall be blessed. And yet you refuse to go out. All this going out, waiting, nothing produced. I better make I sit down here. A little sleep, a little slumber, and a little folding of hands, so shall poverty come. God has made provisions. The provision of being practically committed to kingdom sacrifices. Are you truly faithful to the obedience of paying tithes and offering? The obedience of taking care of your parents? Hello, sir. Anyone who dishonor his parents, his light will go dim. There are no prayer points for that. Some people, is not, there's no witches, there's nothing fighting them. It's just dishonoring their parent that is working against their life. And you know what? When the devil wants to deal with you very well, he will give you revelation that your mother is a witch. And she's the one doing you. The reason why you're not moving forward. No. Oh, your father has done one horrible thing. That's why nothing is working for you. Nay. Nee. In all of these things, we are more. There's a justification, Victor. In all, the, the, in all of these things, which thing? The devil complain. You don't deserve right. You don't deserve light. You don't deserve grace. You don't deserve joy. You don't deserve victory. Yet, he loved us. He first loved us. And he said, in all of these things, we are more than the conqueror. You know what? We didn't conquer. There is a conqueror. So we are more than what the conqueror. There is Christ who conquered. We sing the song, yours is the praise. Mine is the victory. Satan is defeated. That is your heart must be open to the instructions of praise. The instructions of giving things. If you love him truly, you will thank him. You know, there are some stupid wives that they are not in love with their husband. No matter what he does, they never say thank you. He just bought little thing. Is that what your mate buys? Only did you see what I dropped? I see him. Let me say I know see. I beg. Because they make me give me some make I see. You know, you know get shape. And what is your mate they buy? But there's a wife. You buy a class and give to her. Amen. Amen. She rejoices and celebrates. We've had time we celebrate Eccles in my house. But that's the only gift I could give to my wife. Eccles. Amen. At that time, it wasn't even up to five now. But the commandment, he said, Oh, ye priests, he said, You have dishonored me in this commandment. That you have not given glory to me, you have not given praise to me. I command that you praise me. I said, how do you love me without obeying my commands? There is peace in homes if we follow instruction. You know what your wife does not like and you know what the husband does not like. Where I come from, they will say, 
The soup that the owner of the house does not eat, the wife does not cook it. And the owner of this house is God, the father of all. The owner of the future you are aiming at, you are dreaming at, is God. The owner of the tomorrow you want to step into is God. Hello, enough of all this sweating, sweating. Obedience open doors at will. If thou be willing and obedient, the Bible says you will eat dark food of the land. Isaiah 119. If my people that are called by my name shall humble themselves and do what in pray, submission. Second Chronicles 7 14. And then ask me anything. He said, I will hear from heaven. And I will do what I will hear their land. It's just easy. Hello, sir. God cannot be mocked. The Bible says, for whatsoever a man sow shall hear it. If he sows corruption, he will reap corruption. If he sows incorruption, he will do what? He will read incorruption. You will gain access. Number two, loving God. You can't love God. I love this one. You can't love God outside the Holy Ghost. I, I, I'm going to show you why some people will continue forever continue in pain even when they are born again. Some will continue to have some hardship even when they are born again. Some will continue to go through some attacks even when they are born again. You cannot truly love God outside the Holy Spirit. He is the spirit of guidance. He is the spirit of guidance. The Bible says he guides us into all truths. He is the spirit of guidance. You know what? He will guide you what you should do and what you should not. He would guide you how to please the Father. You need a strong bond with Him. If you must love the Father. How do I know this? My Bible tells me that he is the teacher that teaches how to love God. Not to have the Holy Ghost baptism is to be lacking in God's love. Now, I read two scriptures to you. First, John chapter 14 and verses 15 to 18. And then I read Romans chapter 5 and verse 5. Now let's go media. John 14 and 15 to 18. Look at this everyone. If ye love me keep my commandments. Let's be fast with it. And I will pray the Father. Look at this. He shall give you another comforter. When the situation of life is trying to frustrate you, he will place beside you bright another comforter. When some men are saying we will close the door, he will place beside you another comforter. Stay on the scripture. 
when you are on the bed of languishing, he will place another comforter that he may abide with you forever. Because you can't love God forever. So you need help to love him forever. <laughs> the spirit of God which is shed abroad in us. The spirit of God that quickeneth a mortal body. That's what the Bible says. If the same spirit of him that raised Jesus, Jesus, Jesus couldn't love him without the Holy Ghost. He don't understand. And Jesus returned in the power of the Holy Ghost. Jesus came from Luke chapter 4, Luke chapter 4 and verse 7. The Bible says, And he came into the sanctuary, opened the book, and found a place where it was written concerning him. And in verses 18 in Luke 4, he said, The Spirit of the law, his assignment, the journey, the beginning of all things, started with what? The Spirit is upon me. He has anointed me to preach. You can't, you can't truly love. I always sing a song. How can a man keep his way except the Lord? Except the Lord. How can a youth guide his way except the Lord? Only the Lord. Lord, give me your spirit. Ruling me your ways time after time. For many times, sins want to rule all over me. Except your spirit can see me through. When they sang that song, women were dressing decently. Yet they sang that song. When they sang that song, there was really no homosexuality. When they sang that song, and you are talking of in a generation, in a world of nudity. Where everything is being perverse. Where there is no regard for honor and purity. And you think, some, every time you are trying to say, Lord, I, 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 I'm making a deal with you now, I won't fail you. Something else is flashing through your eyes. Something is contending with you. When they sang that song, people were dedicated to God. They don't send them SMS to come to church. You know how they sing the song? There's a song they sing, I wonder how that day shall be. Their heart being connected, you know, I'm waiting for when my Lord shall come. I'm thinking when my Lord shall come. I'm thinking when my Lord shall come. I'm thinking when my Lord shall come again. I wonder how that day shall be. They, they as lovers that waited. They were waiting. As lovers. Now, if you just leave Guarimpa now and go to Nyaya, your lover has disappointed you. In a hurry. And disappoint you and clean their mouth with makeup and put new makeup. By the time I left, you were not with makeup. I just decided to look fine for you. We sing the song. Oh, Lua, Etobi, Etobi, oh, Etobi. Hey, oh, Lua, Etobi, Etobi, oh. Etobi ba mi kosenita lefi shakawere o Etobi kosenimo lefi shakawere o Etobi o lua. You know what the songwriter was saying in my heart. You are the only big thing I see. 
in my thoughts you are the only big thing i see to some to have a visa is the biggest thing some if they don't have that job they've not got the biggest thing you can't love god without the holy ghost i'm telling you we're in a wicked world every day is all man for himself survivor of the fittest you are walking on the road you are not even sure if the boss or the cab you enter is a safe one or the one that is looking for heads to trade how can a man keep his way except the lord except the lord how can a youth guide this way Except the Lord, only the Lord. Luke 14 and verse 6, 17. John 14, rather, sorry. John 14, 17. The Bible went on to explain to us what we need to do. John 14, 17, we're going to 18. John 14. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Even the spirit, look at this. Even the spirit of truth. Whom the, let's take it from verse 16. Thank you, Lord Jesus. From verse 16. Now, I will pray the Father. He will give you another comfort. That he may abide with you forever. Once he stays with Io, his exploit is unfathomable. And people will not know. Listen carefully. People that go to see heads of nations is according to your position that the demons they will carry and chase you is, will determine. If it's the local government uh, chairman, it's small, small one. And if just, that's why sometimes you think whether the president is normal or abnormal. People visit him every day with dangerous things. So, I'm, so if people open their barbaric guy like this and you see live totals. If it's possible for people to carry life elephant, they will carry it inside. And say, what is swallowing? What is swell up in your tummy? Is that how my tummy is? Ordinary DG offices. People to see DG give me an appointment four days. Four days they are sleeping in the cover. Communing with spirits. There is a spirit that is higher than spirits. There's a spirit that prevails ahead of... There's a spirit that opens the doors of nations. Opens the doors of embassies. It grants you access to all things. There's a spirit that gives you victory. There's a spirit that guarantees marital settlement. I speak tonight in the name of Jesus. May you receive the baptism of it. You will please have your seat. There's really no time tonight. Verse 17. Look at what it says. Even the spirit of truth. Whom the world cannot receive. Everybody look at this. Whom the world cannot receive. If you stay in flesh. You are of the world. Whom the world cannot receive that you go to church does not make you a recipient your heart must be truly panting after god whatever your heart pants after dictates your journey i told my wife her family will always be secure as long as we pant after God. Don't worry, we lose nothing. As long as we're in God. I may join this walk with him. Which the world cannot receive. Why? Because he see him not. Neither knoweth him. But ye know him. Why? For he dwelleth with you. And what? And shall be in you. He dwell in you. And he dwell with you. 
and shall what be in you. He's by your side. Dwell with go back there in you, with you. He's there. And what? And shall be in you. All you just need to do. That's the Holy Spirit that has been moving with me. Please gain access. And then it happens that if the same spirit of him that raised Jesus up from there, if the same dwell inside Aisha, he said the same is able to quicken mortal body. That's why witches and wizards can manifest from Covon, spend three months, four months, and they're coming to attack a believer, a child of God. In him, there's the fullness of Godhead bodily. He's been circumcised with circumcision that were not made with hands. But through the precious blood of Jesus. We are completed in him who is the head of all principalities and powers. He has authority to which he operates from. John 14 verses 18. Thank you Lord Jesus. You can't love him outside the Holy Ghost. He's the teacher that teaches you how to love God. I will not leave you comfortless. I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. You know, he talked about, I'm going to release the Holy Ghost on you. He's going to teach you all things. And do what? And bring all things into your remembrance. Hello? You need the Holy Spirit to understand God. Moses thought his understanding of God was to defend God. Are you following me right now? The people were doing things contrary to God. Moses got so angry with the people thinking he was defighting for God. You can't fight for him. You can't understand him. And God told him, who told you to get angry with my people? Who told you? Moses, because of this, your anger with my people, you will not see the promised land. He was fighting the interests of God. You need the Holy Ghost to know what to fight for and what not to fight for. Some of you just start a little fight. He start as being righteous in departments. Boom! It become big and destroy the work of God. And he said, after all, even God knew I fought for him. <laughs> not knowing you're on your way to hell. We need to be careful. You can't love him outside the Holy Ghost. I'll take one more and continue another time. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Loving God. Be a keeper of his word. The Holy Ghost wants to teach you. But he can only teach you if when he comes, he finds the word of God in you. Is that what listening right now? He does not contradict God's word. He wants to teach you and he can only teach you if when he comes, he finds the word of God in you. You know, Jeremiah was talking about the word. He said, thy words were found I did eat them. I ate them. It became the joy and the rejoicing of my heart. First John chapter 2 and verse 5. The template of loving him is in his word. But whoso keepeth, everybody look at this, whoso keepeth his word, in him verily is what? Is the love of God perfected? <laughs> you see? You see this? It's your safety. You see this? It's your victory. Some of you like to sit down, Pastor, talk, man of God, prophesy. Talk, prophesy. This is the prophecy of all prophecy. This is the currency of heaven. The language of I am. I, Daniel, understood by a book. This is the book he was talking of.
It says, but whoever keep his word, after you have located it, you keep it. You know how David kept his own? He said, thy word have I hid in my heart. Psalm 119 verses 11. That I may not sin against you. I don't want to alter your love. Stand on your feet. Someone say to me, Lord, I want to love you. <laughs> hello, hello. There is a strange dimension of breakthroughs that will just force open. So, some, some, some major dimension of victories that you'll be stepping into. Can I hear your loud amen? amen? Some of you will be so amazed. He said, great and effectual doors are first open. God is going to be granting you access to mind-blowing victories. Amen. Somebody pray. Say, Lord, teach me to love you. Come and open your mouth and pray. Teach me, Lord, to love you. Holy Ghost, help me to obey instructions. Help me to obey God's commandment. Teach me, Lord, to love you. Come and open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Lord, teach me to love you. Lord, teach me how to love you. Teach me, Holy Ghost, to love you. Lord, teach me. Lord, teach me. Show me what I need to do. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. I'll show you something strange tonight. Romans 5 and verse 5. Romans 5 and verse 5. Now, hope does Hope make it not a shame. Everyone look at this. Why? That is, hope does not cause one to shame. One, the one who is trusting God for a major breakthrough, God is saying he won't face disappointment. And God explained why he will not face disappointment. He said, because the love of God is shed abroad in our heart. I'm showing you, do you truly want breakthroughs? You want answers? Yes, sir. <laughs> oh my God. Do you, do you want answers? Yes, I receive good news on daily basis. I'm, I'm telling you the truth. Do, do you want answers? Yes, do you want God to load you with benefits? Yes, Love him. Love him. Are you listening right now? Please tell that scripture. I want to read it to you. And I'm going to read it in three translations. Now, I'm reading KJV now. I will read message and I will read NLT. It said, Oh, make it not a shame because the love of God is shared abroad in what? In our heart. By what? By the Holy Ghost. The olden, olden, we couldn't do it, but we did it. By who? Uh, I sang a song some time ago. Don't leave me, Lord, don't leave me. Don't leave me, Holy Spirit. Don't leave me. Help me, Lord, to love you more. It, 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 was, it, was, it was in my darkest time. that I, I, I just wonder, Holy Ghost, to teach me how to stay with the Father. I want the Holy Ghost to teach you. Hello, power is the cheapest thing to get. It is costly to redeem. Are you listening right now? That's why you can see some people just dive into the prophetic. They are not in the prophetic. They just dive and just come out. And the next time they can't enter. But retaining it is the work of the Holy Ghost. He helps you return it. He helps you. Hello, sir. I'm speaking right now. The baptism of God's love 
let it come so mightily on you now. Wherever you are in any nation, the hunger for the Father's love, deadness to sin, I speak, let it come upon you now. Look at what it says. Go back to the scripture, Romans 5 5, which is shed abroad in our heart by the Holy Ghost, who are what? Who, which is given unto us. Now, give me the message translation. Look at this. In alert expectancy, ah! such as this, we are never left feeling shortchanged. Is somebody following me right now? Quit the contrary. We can't round up enough containers to hold everything. God generously pours into our life. Through what? So, if you don't have the Holy Spirit, there is no generously pouring. If you spend time with the Holy Ghost and then you fellowship with Him, Holy Spirit. Zupa, zupa, zupa. Yanti kaha dige de beke mekoko mekolo kolo kolo fati apala sike hendus kutali anti hindis. Spirit of the Living God, I want to love you. Holy Ghost, teach me, help me, teach me, help me. Holy Ghost, help me. Take me by the hands. Show me how to walk the walk of God. Show me how to honor God. Holy Ghost, teach me. You are my teacher. I know nothing. I understand nothing outside of you. Holy Spirit. It means submission to the Spirit of God. It means reference the Spirit of God. Stay on the scripture. Stay on that message scripture. Look at what it says. Stay on the scripture please. Thank you Lord Jesus. Media stay on the scripture. Thank you Lord Jesus. Everybody lift your eyes and say Holy Spirit help me. So come on, say it. Say it with all of your Holy Spirit, help me. Now say it tonight. Holy Ghost, blot out every image of self. Say Holy Ghost, blot out every victory of self. Everything that makes me see myself. Holy Ghost, feel me now. Feel me now and show me how to love God. In Jesus' name. If the spirit of him. Please give me the NLT. Media, give me the NLT translation of Romans 5. 5. If the spirit of him that raised Jesus from the dead dwell inside of you. He said, the same spirit is able to quicken your mortal body. Tomorrow is sure. You know why? Because he's the keeper of tomorrow. He keeps it. And we're, we're so sure of it. Look at what it says now. And this hope will not lead to disappointment. For we know how dearly God loves us because he has given the Holy Spirit to fill our heart with what? I want you to pray. Just one prayer. I want you to pray one prayer and when you leave church, continue praying that one prayer. Holy Spirit, teach me to love the Father. Come and open your mouth and pray right now. Just teach me, Holy Spirit, Teach me to love the Father. Holy Ghost, teach me to love the Father. Holy Ghost, let the Father come first. 
Let him come forth. Teach me to love the Father. Holy Ghost, teach me to love the Father. Holy Ghost, teach me, Lord, to love the Father. Teach me, Lord, to love the Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Open your hands. I speak in the name of Jesus by the authority of his name. May you receive grace to stay with the Father. Amen. May you receive grace to honor the Father. Amen. And may you receive grace to become the Father's own. Amen. Now listen carefully. By your decision tonight, everything you are looking for, may the heavens release it at will. Amen. Everything you are looking for, what others are dying to get, may you assess it with ease. Amen. What others are struggling for, may you assess it with ease. In the name of Jesus. Come on, celebrate victory. Celebrate your victory in him. Give him glory, give him glory, give him glory. Amen. You may please have your seat. Amen. Let's carefully package our offering. It's a commandment. Do not come before.